everyone, Stacy Burke here. <laughs> this is another video. And I was thinking, what do I want to talk There's just so much I want to talk about and I forget. And I write down notes. And uh, one of the things everyone keeps bringing up that they want to know about. And I don't know if I'm even prepared to talk about it because I'm hoping I remember everything. Um, but everyone wants to know, like, why... My husband got 86 from the Playboy Mansion. Now, granted, he wasn't 86 for long. It was this, like, old suspension time. But, um, yeah. You know, there's certain rules when you go in people's houses. They all have, especially the Playboy Mansion. You know? And I told him certain things, but... <laughs> And this was new in our marriage, so I was just, I don't know, but this is what happened. <laughs> you know, I try to tell him the rules of everything, and I think part of it was his rebellion. He didn't really like rules. He was, I don't, I don't know, I could get into the backstory or whatever was going on in his mind. To be honest, I really don't know. I'm just going to tell you the facts, I guess. But I kind of basically told him, like, look, you know, it's like, um, well, I told him, like, because I gave him a tour. And in the game house, there's these bedrooms. There's a, the blue room and the red room in the game house. And I told him a lot of times during parties, people will, like, pass out there if they're too drunk to drive or something like that. Like, you know. I'm not saying it's like a rule like it's kind of hard to say like that's not a rule but I mean I was just kind of give him a little bit of information so in his mind maybe that's what he thought that's where people go when they're too drunk or whatever I don't know we're at the Playboy Mansion and uh, Roy's my husband is getting drunk he's drinking I am too and it kind of hits me hard because um sometimes alcohol hits me hard if I don't eat so well but we're having a good time during movie time when of course we meet a new playmate I even forget her name but she was nice and we befriend her and stuff and we're sitting in the back watching a movie all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy sometimes what happens when I drink too much I will just get sleepy <laughs> and literally just pass out because I'm sleepy. I was getting really sleepy. So I go into the library in the back and fall asleep. And I guess I fell asleep really hard. While I was asleep, now granted I was asleep, but I still kind of heard commotion. Have you ever been in sleep where you could hear commotion going on, but you can't really understand it because you don't know what's going on but you're so dead tired or you're so like exhausted or drunk or whatever that you just can't move you're just kind of just comatose well this is what happened my husband got extremely drunk one of the playmates got extremely drunk and my in my husband's words he was trying to help her because she needed to pass out. So he took her to the red room, which is a bedroom in um, the game room. And witnesses tell me that they couldn't find them. They knocked on the door. It was locked. And then they asked him what he was doing, and he was just joking around, like, oh, I'm fucking her, or whatever, like, uh, I, or something. Just trying to, he was being a smartass. Finally, security opened the door. They find the playmate passed out in the bed. My husband kind of disheveled. I don't know. He says he was in the middle of going to the restroom, and that's why his pants were down. To be honest, I really don't know what the story was. They could have been trying to get busy. He could have been taking advantage of her because she was drunk. 
he could have been just a drunken fool because he said that he put her in the bed and he fell on her and stuff. Who knows, really, the story? Because we really don't know. The only one in the rooms was him and her, and they were both so drunk that they probably don't even know. Well, they tell him he needs to leave. But then, of course, I'm passed out in the library. He goes, I'll take care of her. I'll take care of her. He picks me up, and I guess he manhandles me. And and that's when people at the Playboy Mansion were mad at him. Like, you don't handle your wife like that. I guess he picked me up fireman style, not in the most flattering way. And so the Playboy staff and, and patrons got mad at him pick me up carefully and put me in my car, which my friend, I, want, uh, I don't want to say her name, but another playmate offered to drive my car, which was really nice, and she was staying not too far. They put me in the back seat. I remember waking up at that time, and I heard them yelling at my husband saying, you don't do that kind of shit here. You don't do that here. And my husband goes, okay, okay, sorry, laughing, thinking everything was funny. We all get in the car. We drive to my my friend's place where she's staying. I'm starting to wake up, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm hearing all these different stories. I don't even know what's going on. My husband's so drunk that when we walk into her place, he just falls over like timber. Boom. Anyway, there was some drama there too because the person she was staying with didn't really appreciate that they brought two drunken people over to their place. So then drama ensued there. It was just a big drama show. By the next day, I'm getting pieces of the puzzle. I'm getting kind of what happened. However, my husband's telling me, he's crying to me, I would never do anything to you. I'm so sorry. I was I was just literally, she was drunk. I was literally trying to just take her to the bedroom so she could pass out, and I fell on her because I was drunk. Now, granted, I'm believing all this because we were just newly married. I don't know him like the way I know him now. Now, granted, I know nothing happened because I know that my husband's impotent, especially drunk. However, he can still try, you know, he can still try. I think he probably was trying to do something with her, but I don't really know. I don't know the truth. All I know is I was asleep in the library. My husband took another drunk playmate into a bedroom in the library, either the blue room or the red room, I don't know, locked the door, and when they were, like, knocking to make sure they were okay, he was giving attitude and being a prick that I know, I know exactly how he was acting. Being like, oh, what do you think I'm doing? I'm fucking her, I'm doing this, I'm do you know, like, just acting like an ass or whatever. And it's true, you don't do that at the Playboy Mansion. You just don't. First of all, you don't do it at any place that you're invited to. Like, if you go to somebody's house, that is not the proper way to act. I don't care where it's at. We're Playboy Mansion, the White House, or a shack down by the river. You just don't act like that. So, it was kind of a big deal. It was a really big deal, because she was a playmate. He was a guy, he was like my husband, like it was just a big deal. And so we got a call from Mary saying that no longer invited. I was thinking me and him were 86, but I went to the Playboy Mansion not too long after that to do something and security was telling me this, but then Hef actually, I still have it on my uh, voice recording, Hef actually told them no, 
Stacy is she's she's on the permanent guest list. Just him is 86. In fact, I have felt really bad about it that when we did the Bon Voyage party for the TV show, The Girls Next Door, it was Bridget's Bon Voyage party because she was going to do the Travel Channel. And this is right towards the end of The Girls Next Door, this last season where things were kind of going astray, where Holly was kind of dating Chris Angel and Kendra was in the mix of trying to get her show. And Bridget was uh, in the midst of getting um, the Travel Channel. And this is when all the girls were about ready to leave the show and the mansion. We did a Bon Voyage party at a Gladstone's in Malibu. And Hef was there. And of course, my husband was there. And they wanted the Whack Pack to show up because the show loved the Whack Pack, our group of friends, because it was an instant mix of eclectic people. To be, It's good for show ratings. It's good for audience. It's good for story. It's just good. So when we showed up, I have even hugged my husband and said, I'm really sorry. And my husband goes, it's okay. It's all right. Now, later down the line, I don't, I forget how. The 86 was null and void, and he was able to come back to the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Which is probably a mistake, because there's a lot of other problems there, too. But that is pretty much it. I wish I could embellish more. I don't know what's going on in his head. I know people are probably saying, Stacy, what are you, an idiot? I know. At the time, at, looking back on it now, he did something very wrong and he probably did try to cheat on me he probably did something really bad but I was giving him the benefit of the doubt because I knew of his problems sexually so I knew it was almost impossible for him to actually do the deed but still you know taking advantage of like and then I'm thinking maybe I did something wrong because I told him those rooms or people when they get too drunk and stuff they go to. So maybe he was thinking to take her there. Like, I'm trying to figure out everything. I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt. But no matter what, it was just wrong. If someone's so drunk and you feel like they're in danger, you just call security. But I also know my husband, when he gets drinking, he's not thinking that way. He needs to take control. It's about him, always about him, whether even he's trying to help someone, he wants to be the one to help them, or if it's for doing something, whatever. It's what he wants to do. And um, it was as bad. And it was very, um, I was very humiliated. I was very embarrassed. You know, especially I'm drunk passed out in a library because I just can't handle too much like hard alcohol and I think we're drinking uh, Jack and Cokes and I didn't really eat much and my body just can't handle that much and when when I have too much alcohol I will just fall asleep like I will just I just can't handle I just can't handle it which is good you know which is a good thing uh, so and I that was the last time I got like that that was the last time I got like that he was kind of a bad influence a little bit because he would continue and continue and continue like he would not stop once he starts having especially the brown liquor he would just not stop he would like he could drink a lot and he would drink continuously until you hope he passes out and then once he's passed out he's passed out for a long time he's out of commission for a long time but yeah, that was really embarrassing. And uh, looking back, I, I mean, I defended him saying, no, he would never do that. But now looking back, who knows? Yeah. He took a drunk playmate to a bedroom, locked the door. His pants were halfway undone. She was fine. She was clothed on the bed. Obviously, if it was something more, it'd be he'd be... 86 for real like he'd be like banned he would have never been able to show back up again so I know what they found was not that bad like in other words nothing happened she was clothed like whatever would have happened if it did 
was stopped. Like, nothing happened. I know for a fact, because seriously, he would have not been invited back. But it didn't look good. It didn't look good. And it, and it didn't look good, meaning that also, not just the visual and what they saw and what they found, but it didn't look good, meaning, like, what was his intentions? Like, if no one knocked on the door, what would have happened next, you know? And it was just, I was the, I was the gossip and the drama and the talk of the town at the Playboy Mansion for a while after that. Now, granted, everyone forgive him, like, all the, the, the staff and everything. So it must have not been that bad because, like, everyone, like, was understanding later on. Like, whatever they found wasn't that bad. But, like I said, was it because security rushed in just in time of course the, he was pretty much passed out on her like he in other words nothing even if security didn't come rushing in i have a feeling he would have just passed out but that's not good so that is the story why my husband was 86 from the playboy mansion and how embarrassing it was and it put another little doubt another little thing in me you know like why would he do that like if I were like I kept on thinking like if he invited me somewhere and I did that I wonder how that would have played out like if he was drunk passed out and I'm I'm taking some guy into the bedroom and I'm half clothed if I would have done that how that would have panned out for him how he would have handled it Right. Well, there you go. That's why he was 86 from the Playboy Mansion. But soon to be reinstated, he he was able to come back after like have have put him back on the list. About like it took it was 86 for like a month. It took like a month. Uh, Hep was very understanding. I think he felt bad for me. And he was just sad about the situation. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. <laughs> um, probably more stories eventually. There's always more stories. I can remember them. <laughs> okay, to my stays cadets, all my briquettes. I hope you have a great day. Until next time.